Filipino Roots Night is coming up at Golden One Center, and it's going to be a night full of fun and entertainment with musical performances and a post-game influencers basketball game. And here to tell us more, we have Roslyn and Anthony. Welcome to the show, guys. Great hi, to hi, be hi, here hi. with Aubrey. Well, first of all, tell everybody what Filipino Roots Night with the Sacramento Kings is all about. Okay, um, well, the Roots Night is pretty much uh, a collection of, uh, like you said, influencers, celebrities um, who are going to come and we're all going to come celebrate and party and play some hoops uh, at, the, at the Golden Center. Right, and why is it important to have this type of, of a night? I you're celebrating heritage, you're celebrating roots. It's important for four things. Number one, it's celebrating our community, right? Mm -hmm. But number two, it's showcasing our community to the rest of the world. Our music, our food, our culture, um, you know, our talent. And then it's, it's celebrating with everybody and of course Kings fans. We did this in LA with the LA Clippers. Mm -hmm. uh, we did it before with the Golden State Warriors. The Brooklyn Nets do us. There, there, there's heritage nights all over the country, but it's a really great time for us, you know, as ABS-CBN Mix and Collective Hustle to bring our community and our talent to the world. That's so. awesome. We're taking a look at some video from a past event. Yeah. What kind of festivities are there going to be? Yeah, so there's a lot going on, you know, just like we did with Manny Pacquiao and the Black Eyed Peas at the, at the last one. We have a pregame show with Ruby Ibarra and B. Nell performing. Yeah. We have One Voice reunited for the national anthem. Swag Pit, who you'll see later. He'll be performing during time outbreak. Mm -hmm. Pilo's performing at halftime. We have a bunch of artists and influencers and DJs, as well as yourself, performing yeah. <laughs> alongside entrepreneurs on the actual Sacramento Kings court. We actually have your jersey. Oh eight. my goodness, yes, everybody. Nice. I will be playing basketball. At number eight. In theory. She's back <laughs> on the Kings court. She's back. She was dancing, but now she's going to be yes, balling. Yes, yes, <laughs> I know. I'll, I'll be one of the senior members, literally. All right, so who can attend this? Anybody well, can attend. Anybody. You know, you don't have to be Filipino to attend. You know, we all, we, you know, Sacramento is, is huge, diverse, and anybody can come. So, so you have to go to the game. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. So <laughs> we want all of the Sacramento to show up. Um, Anthony is one of the biggest event producers in the Bay, and it's really important for him to do an event like this in yeah. Northern Cali. Mm -hmm. So uh, we want to bring more of these type of events. So we want or invite everybody to, to come join yeah. us. And talk about uh, Filipinos and basketball, because uh, there's, there's a connection there. For sure, for sure. It's, it's, it's the biggest sport in, in the Philippines. Um, it's entertaining. You know, Filipinos love to be entertained, and we are entertainers ourselves. And uh, someone that does play basketball, you know, it, it's it's a fun sport. It's easy to learn, hard to master. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if you're but, Filipino, you you pretty much of course you can shoot. Up you can shoot. You, 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 you can shoot. Ball, music, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, you can dance. You can play basketball. That's it. That's and you course. mentioned you've done this in other places like mm -hmm. LA. Yeah. Um, most recently with the LA mm -hmm. Clippers. What was the feedback like? The feedback was amazing. We sold out three years in a row. You know, we had Inigo Pascual from the Philippines last year. Um, you know, there's a lot of Heritage Night, like I mentioned. We sell out the Dodger Stadium every time they do the Filipino Heritage Night. So the the amount of attention that that happens specifically on the event is exciting because they're starting to see that Filipino talent is of, of caliber and it's exciting we have the best performing as well all right and you know I, I was gonna say you know um, for me it's a great chance to not only celebrate my roots but share it with everybody yeah. because yeah. you said it's anyone who be who's at the Kings game mm -hmm. will get to experience mm -hmm. this and um, you showed my jersey so I am on mm -hmm. Anthony's team he will yes. be leading one of the post game matches how does the post game match work because I'm we haven't done any practices. Like, how it's, are we going to do this, It's Anthony? easy. We're, uh, we're going <laughs> to. Serious. We're, like. we're pretty much just going to pass you the ball, and that's all we're going to do. <laughs> so this will be following the regular Kings game versus the Wizards. Yes. Then we will take the court. Yes. Yeah. And this is my team captain. Anybody that bought a ticket on kingsgroups.com yeah, can, can come and watch. Can come watch the game. Can come watch the pregame. Get a free uh, Filipino Roots Night bucket hat. I think the most important thing to also, aside from showcasing our heritage, is that the teams have different heritages throughout the whole season. Mm -hmm. So while this is Filipino night, we also do Black History Month. We do other nights that can always celebrate culture, and it's yeah. great for diversity for everybody to experience each other's culture. That's awesome. I am looking forward to it. I, I guess it's too late to really uh, get my cardio in. We're just going <laughs> to see what I've got when I go out there. Uh, where can people go for more information if they want to go? Can they still go? Yeah, of course. Um, uh, tickets are almost sold out, but yeah. you know, with ABS, CBN, TFC, the Filipino Channel Mix, uh, we can all be driven to kingsgroups.com slash MYX Mix to get tickets to see everybody. It's going to be so fun. I can't yeah. wait. Basically, yeah. it's a big Filipino house party inside a huge, <laughs> beautiful much. arena. All right. And, and, and also, you know, this was in LA, so now that it's in Northern California, I highly suggest everyone coming because my experience, the three years that we've that we've done it in LA, 
has been the best experience for me. It's a big deal. We have awesome. people flying in, like awesome. DJ E-Man, uh, Myron Martin, uh, yeah. uh, Nico Blitz from LA. We have yeah. people coming from the Bay, like Some family. of our, your favorite Filipino yeah. influencers. If you don't know who they are, you'll have to go tomorrow yeah. to find out who they are. Thanks for being here. Yeah, and eat some Filipino food. <laughs> yeah. All right, this next guest and Sacramento native has been in your hearts and homes for more than a decade, and you probably didn't even know it. I'm talking about, he was in the dance group Jabberwockies, and he's here to tell us more about his many talents. We have Swag Pit, a.k.a. Phil Tayag. Hey. Welcome to the show, Phil. Thank you, thank all you. All right, so you have traveled all over the world. You've yeah. been performing with big names. You've been making a name for yourself. Tell us about your background and how you started on that journey. Uh, I think definitely like at eight years old, like I was in the dance crew out here in South Sacramento. It was called Soldiers. And since eight years old, I just have not stopped dancing, battling, performing, and it's just been a journey ever since. And I, I'm sure it's taking you places you probably didn't even imagine when you were eight years old. Definitely. You've um, taken your career to the next level. You've traveled and you've choreographed with some of these big name artists like Bruno Mars. Something what like was Bruno that like? <laughs> Bruno Mars, uh, that's my brother. And he's a really, really good guy. He choreographs as well. So we just have a great time like creating. He's very, you know, he's like October 8th, I'm October 9th. So we're like, got this Libra energy Oh, I'm a going. Libra too. You All are? right, okay, See? Libra brother I'm right glad, there. I'm All right, okay. Hey. Anyway, <laughs> but, um, I mean, coming from South Sac, like you said, yeah. and traveling all over the world, what kind mm. of response and like, what is it like? It, it's crazy because I always felt like we've been like an underdog, like in Sacramento being next to the greater city of like San Francisco mm -hmm. and LA. So we always felt like an underdog, but I think we've kind of been working so hard that Sacramento has kind of become like some sort of like a mecca dance wise. There's like mm -hmm. a lot of great talent coming out of here. And I'm, Happy to say I'm a part of that. Yeah, you're helping put Sacramento on the map. In, in fact, you're going to be performing at the Filipino Roots Night that we were just talking yes, about. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's going to be crazy. Talk about coming into Golden One Center, the hometown kings, being there and, and being able to do that performance. You know what? I'm just being present now. You're making me kind of like really just realize <laughs> how crazy this is. Shout out Ross, Anthony, everybody for bringing me out. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a homecoming. It's like a homecoming. You know, I'm from here. Um, I love SAC, you know. Okay. SB is the name. They call me SAC Boy. So yeah, I'm excited. What is it that you would want an audience to take away when they see you perform, whether it's dancing or, or one of your other uh, many talents that you share? So before, people, some people in SAC knew me as like a music artist. Some people knew me as a dancer, but they didn't realize that it was the same person because I kind of kept it separate. Uh huh. So you're gonna kind of see it kind of come together now. Okay, so you I'm said excited. they call you SAC Boy. Yeah. There's also a dance called the SAC Boy. Hey. Um, can you teach me? Yeah, I'm going to teach you the sack <laughs> All right. boy. Go easy on me. Yes. So show it to me and then teach it to me. So I'll show you the sack boy. Uh, easily, you just kind of, you're going to put your right foot in the front and you're going to lean forward and then you're going to lean back and then you're going to kind of just sit back and then you're going to kind of flamingo that leg flamingo. real quick and then you're going to step back forward. Wait, you're like a real dancer. This I'm is not. Kinda, I'm retired. You're kind of <laughs> natural though. Okay, where, am where, I where doing it right, from? guys? I mean, I'm with hey. professionals right ah, now. Da, bop. Flamingo, ha, ah, ah. sack boy, <laughs> yay, sack boy. And why do you sack. call it the sack boy? Uh, because I'm a sack boy. All and, right. And this dance kind of like has been kind of bubbling for over life. So this move, people may have seen it, you know, in some of your choreography. Yeah, maybe like on the Grammy stage, 2018. Awesome. I, th I think I recognize it. I can say I learned yeah. from the inventor of the sack boy. Yes. All right. So what's next for you? Um, music, visuals movies, a lot of everything. I kind of like, I just love art, period. So this is just a blessing to be able to just put out stuff that I love and just And at the end of the day, you're gonna represent Sacramento. I'm repping Sac. That's awesome, that's yeah. awesome. All right, so how can people follow you, uh, your projects, everything that you're gonna be doing? Where am I looking? At Swag Pit. Just cause, you know, that's the Instagram, but yeah, they call me SB. Well, follow me at Swag Pit on Instagram. Very nice, very nice. All right, so I'm gonna let you in a little secret. He has a song called Sack Boy, and we are going to debut it live here, right here on the show. Sack Boy, you Sack Boy, you do it. Sack Boy, Sack Boy. All the way from where I came from, blood bro with the slap. Yeah, same mom. Ain't nothing really changed with the chains, huh? Ain't nothing really changed with the chains, huh? Oh. Big face like Zordon, this face like Furlong. I learned something, go stupid. Sack boy, you I, I, I. Real boy, they been with me since little Phil boy. He got him with a zipper of that grease monkey like we mobbing through Gilroy car. Heck of funky, still got the same Toyota that we used to rollin'. 
Them pinners to chops, little beers, we rollin' pull dime since dime sacks blowin'. Pull dime since dime sacks, SB blowin'. I'm like, hey, she got a thing on that thing, I'm just saying. In my way, in my way, in my way. She got a thing on that thing, in my way, in a good way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she got a thing on that thing, just saying. In my way, in my way, in my way. She got a thing on that thing, in my way, in the way, all the way from where I came from. Little bro with the slap, yeah, same mo. Ain't nothing really changed but the chains, huh? Ain't nothing really changed but the chains, huh? Oh, big face like Zordon. This face like Furlong. I learned something, go stupid. Sack boy, you 